my name is prem prakash and welcome to my channel simple easy python today i am discussing the last problem from problem set 1 which is about conditionals and the problem name is meal time i have already created solution videos for week 0 functions and variables and conditionals all the problems except this meal time so deep thought federal home savings bank limited file extensions and math interpreter solution video for all these are already uploaded onto my channel I have given the link to the playlist in the into the description. So if you have not watched it, go ahead and watch them out. A quick disclaimer before I start this video. This video is only for the educational purposes and I do not encourage plagiarism. Let us go to the problem. What is the problem it states? The problem is that, okay, in short, what we can say is that there are three slots for eating. One is between seven to eight in the morning. And that is breakfast time lunch is between 12 noon to 1300 hours that is 1 pm and dinner time is between 1600 to 89 sorry 1800 to 1900 so which is can we converted into 6 pm to 7 pm problem states that we need to implement a program that is going to prompt the user for a time and output whether it is a breakfast time if it is between this 7 to 8 here if I, you can see my cursor it is a lunch time if this is between 12 to 1300 and dinner time if it is between 1800 to 1900 hours. Few uh, things that need, we need to take care, we need to keep in our mind before we jump into this problem. Mm. Yeah, and if it is not a time for the meal, if it, if it does not fit in, if the user enters something which is not between these three time slots, then the program should output nothing at all. <clears throat> the user input will be in a 24 hour format. So 1 p.m. will be written like this 1300, 6 p.m. will be 1800 and 7, 1900 is your 7 p.m. It will be like that. And then here it is the main program that is given. Let me copy this and before I jump into, um, yeah, I have copied this over here. Yeah, further if we check the what is written over here is that. A structure your program as per the below that I have already copied where convert is a function that can be called by main that converts a time uh, a stir 24 hour format to the corresponding number of hours as float. So with this background let us jump into the programming. Let us move into this here. So let me I am already into the meal so I have copied it over here. First thing is that let us prompt the user for the time of the day and you know for accepting any input from the user we use input function what uh, what is it is like that what time is what time is it here you see in the demo video so I am going to write it the same what time is it here next what we have to do here is that we need to pass on this time to the convert function and then after what is that if time between I am just writing in the layman language 0 600 hours to 700 then print breakfast time similarly if it is between 12 to 1 13 hours it is like that but before that we need to convert the time so how do we do that one thing is that now we can convert time is equal to convert and time here what we do is that we are create calling this function convert where when we are passing this time variable which has been captured using the user input and whatever this convert is going to return that will be stored here in the convert time and then we can come over here in fact what we can do is that it can be further simplified something like this we remove this part here this line we do not need this line when we can simplify it something like this we call the convert function right here convert here so we are calling the function convert where we are in which we are taking the input and it is being stored here 
now before i go further in, any further into this the other time slots let us first convert the time here now we have received the time and you see how the user is going to enter the time time is going to be entered something like this or time is going to be entered something like this 12 15 or if we talk about dinner time 18 30 something like this so now there are a couple of ways first thing is that we split this part this time basis on the this colon these two dots are called colon here and yeah, so let us do that first thing first so h and m i am saying that okay h for you can say that hour and m for minute time dot split on what we are going to split we are going on to the uh, split onto the basis of colon if you remember our last video if you have not seen the link then there also we have used the split function in the math interpreter that, that was the problem name and there we had splitted on the basis of the blank space if you have not seen that video i will give the link somewhere above this video now we have splitted this so what we are going to get now this is the result of this will be a stir and we need to convert it into float how do we do that so one way is that okay we can say something like this h float h and then m is equal to float m this is and then what we have to do we are going to divide the minutes by 60 if you check here into the hints if we come back to here hints here here um, we'll assign this line which separates a stir into the values which can be assigned into variables at once 730 here we have already splitted it 7 and 30 keep in mind that there are 60 minutes in an hour so what we are going to do is that we are going to convert the minutes also into the hour and add it back to the hour what will happen this way this way it will happen is that we are going to con compare only the first part of this otherwise if we start putting a logic that okay first we are going to compare that whether it is between 6 and 7 okay if it is and then what should be the time from 00 till 00 of 8 that will be unnecessarily adding complexities to the logic of course it can be done that way but that will be more complex the better way here is to convert the minutes also into the hour and then we compare hour with hour so that is what i am going to do over here and then h will be equal to okay we have already converted h plus then we can divide it into by 60 and this whole value can be returned in fact we can further simplify it as we simplified the second line here here instead of doing all these things we can write it into one line instead of three lines what we can say here is that return float h and then not flat float minute divided by 60 and let us put everything into here yeah so instead of three lines i am just accomplishing this thing into one line and what do we have at the bottom okay here it is the main the last part now this after converting every hour and minute into only hour it is going to return it back which will be collected here now let us start doing like this the start the if part one way is that if time is greater than equal to 7 and time is less than equal to 8 then print breakfast time like this so i just, just okay l if time is greater than equal to 12 and time is less than equal to 13 then print 
lunch time and the last is l if time is greater than equal to 18 and time is less than equal to 19 then print dinner time let us remove one some extra spaces from here and so this is our whole program now we can try it by running this code meal dot time can't open the far okay not meal dot time it is meal dot pi my mistake apologies let us jump here into the demo video seven first thing that we are getting here and on the and then the output should be a breakfast time let us do like that seven colon zero zero breakfast time next one was one was 7:30 here yeah now let us take a break here and again there is another way that we can impl instead of writing it in the if statement we can do something like this as well what i can do here is that this is the method that i really prefer time is we can write it also like this and the result will be same so let me make the changes here 12 less than equal to time greater than equal to 12 and it should be 13 not 12 and here it should be 19 not t19 in fact 19 greater than time and 18 let us let me first clear the terminal and then we can check few of the cases seven o'clock breakfast time seven thirty okay so far so good let us take further cases over here yeah 801 then it should print nothing and it is printing nothing then it if it is 1801 then it is dinner time let us check these two cases also mm. 801 nothing is getting printed over here one more time it was 18 how much it was 1801 dinner time i think there are certain couple of this is all here in demo video or do we have some more cases 1859 that is dinner time let us check that 1859 dinner time and i believe there were a couple of cases uh, at bottom as well 7 we have checked 730 we have checked 1242 let us check that one and 1111 and 1240 Two, it was 12.42 I believe 12.42 lunch time here yeah. and the last one was 11.11 11, which is not fitting into any other time slot so it should be eh, outputting nothing now the moment of truth let us check it out here the remaining test everything what does the CS50 say about all this thing I have pasted it over here and let us see hmm. the moment of truth as we call it uh, wait for a second it should be there anytime uploading waiting for result upload mm -hmm. yeah here you can see everything is in green so it has passed all the test cases so all good from cs50 side so this was uh, it for this video if you find this video useful then consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel Please also share it with your friends who are pursuing CS50 for Python from Harvard. Happy coding.